Okay, so for the sake of uh, everybody's sanity, I've decided not to try to even attempt to draw a schematic for the male reproductive, <coughs> the male reproductive system. What I did do was a sort of I got a picture, I got a great image so that we can look at sort of the male reproductive anatomy and cross section. But before we do that, I wanted to kind of give you a run through of all the pieces involved, following sperm, sort of from where it's produced to when it exits the body. There's a helpful mnemonic that I use to remember this, and it's called Seven Up. So if we follow sperm from the very beginning, it starts out in the testes, specifically in something called the seminiferous tubules. So the seminiferous tubules are going to be the site of sperm production. So these are the sort of where they're made inside of the testes. Okay. The E in 7-Up stands for the epididymis. So this is sort of the next stop. Epididymis. There it is. Okay. So the epididymis is going to be sort of where sperm is held or stored and where the sperm matures. So it's produced in the seminiferous tubules and then matures in the epididymis. So once that, that sperm's ready to go, it goes up through a tube called the vas deferens. Now, in some books, they're, they're trying to get rid of the names, names of sort of ana anatomical parts that are named after people. And so sometimes you'll see this written as the, the ductus deferens, which I guess is a more appropriate term for it. But the vas deferens or the ductus deferens are the same thing. And from there, it's going to go off into the ejaculatory duct. So I should say that yeah, the vas deferens doesn't really do anything special. It just sort of carries the sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct. So I mean, if I draw a tiny little schematic for this uh, in general, so the right, you'd have the testes, you'd have the epididymis, which is kind of like on the side here, and then you have a tube that sort of carries it around, right? That's going to be the, the urethra that carries it around. And as, this, as the sperm travels through the urethra, there's going to be these other glands that sort of deposit things into the urethra that to go with the sperm and sort of out. All right, but uh, for the most part, for just following the trail of sperm, right, it goes epididymis, vas deferens, and then the ejaculatory duct, which you could look at as sort of an accelerator. All right, it just kind of like accelerates the, contracts and accelerates the sperm out. Now, this... Mnemonic's very helpful for a lot of students, but uh, the one flaw in it is the N. So the N stands for nothing. It's just to make these words work. So the rest of them work, but the N is just nothing. So remember that there's not supposed to be anything that goes there. Uh, the ejaculatory duct passes the sperm onto the urethra. And the urethra is sort of the final tube that carries sperm until it makes it out the penis. All right. <laughs> There is that. So that's sort of uh, an explanation of each of the different parts. And this is just not the accessory organs involved here, but just sort of sperm's direct transit route from uh, the testes and sort of out the body. All right, now let's look at this in you know, an image and a cross-section and see if we can sort of identify all of these and label everything appropriately. So we'll turn that off. And then here is my image. And let's start by sort of writing our little mnemonic over here. Now let's just get this out of the way. Remember, this is nothing. Okay, and let's go through all of these. So, if you recall, the uh, this all of this starts in the testes. So here are the testes down here, and inside the testes are the seminiferous tubules. So that gives us our S. Right, moving on from there, we enter right. The sperm then goes into sort of the epididymis, which is right here, and that's where the sperm's stored and sort of where it matures. So there's our E. And then next is going to be the vas deferens. So if we take this, and we can follow the vas deferens from the epididymis all the way around. And we're going to kind of come all the way down. All right, so there's the vas deferens. In this, in this particular image, it's labeled as the ductus deferens. Like I said before, uh, it depends what book and what, what your teacher's telling you. So there's that. Now, the next E on the chain is going to be all right, let's use, uh, I guess we'll use blue for that. It's going to be the ejaculatory duct. So that's going to be this part sort of right here. And the ejaculatory duct's job is to sort of pass that sperm, accelerate it, on, accelerate it and pass it on to the urethra, which is what's going to send it out. All right, so that covers 
the urethra and the penis and then the sperm's out so hopefully that makes sense and uh, hopefully you're able to follow along and that was helpful for you